There was a, a, a character on YouTube called Gaming the Systems. We talked about him in a, a, in a past podcast where he had shown like a thumbnail of us um, as like detractors of James Rolfe. And then we said like, actually, you know, we feel like we've been pretty fair. And he's like, oh, sorry. And he took the whole video down. We were like, no, no, no. And I've since watched quite a bit of his content. Um, Games you love, but I don't or um, how he organizes. He, he did a cool video where he he went to his giant collection and he just picked out like he browsed his own selection for games he's never played before. And he picked out three and he, or maybe like five or something. And he played them all and then reviewed them all. Just some fun stuff like that. And something that I really appreciate about the guy is he is really thorough. He's really comprehensive in every analysis that he does. He really, you know, like uh, 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 he did one where he was reading hate mail. And uh, for every criticism that he received, he did these kind of in-depth takedowns where he was like, here's all of the reasons why I think you're wrong. <laughs> it like, <laughs> so really, appealed to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man after man at heart. Um, and so one of the comments that apparently he was getting a lot was, um, are you autistic? That, that people felt that he came off autistic because even though he's comprehensive, thorough, whatever, he's a bit like hu humorless. Generally, mm -hmm. it's very straightforward. He gives you straightforward information. And um, so he decided as a little bit of like a, a, a stunt for views, um, but also uh, it turns out it was something that he and his wife were curious about. He took an autism test and he said that, um, yeah, his wife said, hey, I think you might have it. He thought he was too self-aware to just like miss the fact that he might be autistic. He's, you know, he, uh, he seems to be maybe in his mid forties or something. He's like, I don't think at this point in my life I'd find out that I was autistic. Um and he also kind of recognizes the pitfalls of self-diagnosis. Like, you know, everybody thinks they got something. Hmm. So he went and he got the real, he got the real test. And he said, um, uh, it started with like for an hour or something, he was asked to react to certain things with a psychologist. Um, it was kind of like an interview slash like observation period. And then a super long self questionnaire. And they felt that he, uh, yes, that he was autistic is what it came back with. Uh, that, that he has deficits in social reciprocity hmm. and understanding relationships with intense fixated interests. <laughs> sounds, <laughs> like, well, sounds like most men. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, that's all it takes. Um, uh, shit. <laughs> I mean, I need to get tested. <laughs> so um, he started, he said, well, you know, here's a few things throughout my life that kind of make the make it feel like this diagnosis supports my experiences one is um he has always felt different from everybody else like kind of alien kind of like almost like a different species you know i have felt like that not so much in my adult life but it's, i think in my ch childhood and, and teen years i felt kind of like pushed away from the pack a bit or i was like i feel like i'm like observing others like an alien um he was bullied, especially at, like he worked like a supermarket job and he was like, like intensely bullied by some guy who was like making violent threats on the reg. And he like, didn't know really what to do or ha what, you know, he just kind of put up with it for, you know, months wow. um, without speaking to anybody about it or without standing up for himself. He talked a lot about how he's um, debilitatedly overwhelmed by uh, uh, systems like, um, like the post office or banking lines or anything that requires like, um, uh, like, like cues. Um, you know, hmm. I don't know if he said like amusement parks or, you know, he'll find himself kind of like shut down by like, I don't, it, it, it sounded to me like if it was, if there's a, some kind of human process that requires like socialization along the way, he, he, it kind of wants to bail. Hmm. That's a lot of people too, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I don't want I don't want to stand cues and talk to people. <laughs> um, he he made it seem like he he really gets overwhelmed by it. He also talked about like um he at a lot of jobs in his life he's he's found it really hard to like plug in to the company for the first like few months, but then he he, he goes really comprehensive, learns everything about the company, everything about everything, and then. Uh, burns out because he becomes like over um, he becomes too much of a resource for everybody. He ends up becoming the go-to resource for absolutely everything. And then he's mm. spending his time on low value tasks instead of high value tasks and has found himself in that trap several times now. Um, that's one I can relate to. <laughs> Big time. Um, yeah. And so then his, uh, his wife said, 
who also wasn't diagnosed. Oh, and he talked a little bit about that too. He really struggled to, um, to date. Like it was like a real struggle to find anybody who could possibly be interested in him. Then he found, finds his wife and it turns out she's autistic too. She ended up <laughs> taking the test and, uh, you know, that, that one's a little bit easier to believe too, because it like female autism is, you know, quite a bit more rare than male autism. Right. Um, from what I understand, but I thought it was a really, it was actually a really cool video. I really appreciated the breakdown. I appreciated that he went into it with kind of like, this is kind of a stunt for views, but then it turns out like, Oh, there's all this validity to it. It kind of made sense, but he, yeah, I, I'd say like compared to my experience with other autistic people, um, or other people on the spectrum, he doesn't, he doesn't seem, it seems to me like he does understand relationships and he does understand social cues but maybe it's just, you know, it's, it, these are skills that can be learned by people on the spectrum yeah. over time. And, you know, maybe he's just gotten good. Yeah. It's like, yeah, he's trial by fire. He just learned the, the, how to cope with that, all that stuff. Subscribe to Red Cow Entertainment on Patreon for full episodes every other week.